My name is Katie Be Happy. Currently is gonna be helping me as well as probably Noli at some point. <laughs> we're gonna be doing a 20 minute core blast. So when you're ready, we're gonna start in the first part of our epic challenge today, which is a hip dip challenge. We need to get to 100 hip dips today by the end of our challenge. Come to high plank. You can choose to do hip dips either back and forth on your palms or on your forearms. We're gonna break this up into four one minute chunks. In three, two, and hit it. One minute on the clock. You're hip dipping side to side. You're counting one, one, two, two. So your hip dips should be like a rainbow up and over. I estimate based on how fast Sarah and I go that you'll get about 25 in a minute. If you go faster than that, good for you, you'll get a longer break. All we have to do is get 100 of these today. So once we hit that 100 mark, you're done. Ha. All right, team, you're halfway through. What are you at, Turnley? She's at 23. Awesome. So Turnley's going nice and fast. She's an advanced athlete. If you're not at 23, don't worry. Just keep chugging away at the dip side to side. Ha. Final 13 seconds. Side to side, we got five, four, three, two. Take a little child's pose, stretch your shoulders back, breathe in, breathe out. All right, first exercise is a modified side plank and row. You're gonna take a light to medium weight, left hand on the ground, modified side plank, row and look up. Inhale, lower it down, exhale, row and look up. All right, you're on the clock, one minute. Lower, pull row. Ha. Everyone's doing a great job of keeping your shin parallel with the mat. As you look up at your weight, empower your gaze skyward. Follow the weight the whole time. You're about halfway, so if you think maybe you can switch your weight out. I started with my three pound bottle, now I'm changing to my eight pound water bottle. Inhale lower, exhale drive it up. Ha. Perfect, Jolie, great job. 15 seconds. Whatever you're driving up, whatever's above your head, you keep your eye on that prize. Everyone, five, four, three, two. All right, listening ears on. Step your left foot through to a lunge. No weight. Take your arms over your head. Using a side bend as far as you can to the left. Plug your left foot down and really get that nice side stretch in. Inhale. Then weight in your left hand. Come up into a lunge position. Side bend to the left, come back up through center. Lunge, bend left, come back up through center. So the main intention here, first of course we're gonna get the legs, but the lower you go down, the harder it is to brace your core. Then you get that epic side bend, come back up as you drive through your left heel and the ball mount of your back foot. All right, Jenna, let's see if these are still good for you. Inhale, bend. Drive and pull and squeeze from your glutes. You're halfway. Everything we do today is just a minute, 60 seconds. Inhale, lower down. Pull to the side. Drive up and squeeze. Consider to yourself, can you go heavier the next time we come back here? Give me three more. <sighs> Drive and squeeze. Feeling empowered by the side hips. Last one. All right, team, back to our forearm plank challenge. Come down to your forearms. You have one minute. Turnley, what did you end on last time? 33. Okay, let's try to get at least 30. Ready, steady, hit it side to side. Steven, if you want to do the stretch one, you can do it when this one's over in like 10 minutes. Okay. Side to side, side to side. It's a one minute challenge, I need you focused. How many can you get in, side to side, side to side? Driving energy and intention in. Hollow your core muscles up. <laughs> I love it, good. <laughs> side to side. Hell yeah, what do you got, Charlie? 21. 21, all right, we're approaching that halfway point. We've been going now for 35 seconds. Remember, you're counting left, right is one. Left, right is two. Left, right is three. So each hip dip, 
Gives you a little bit more dynamic, low ab strength. Core is tight, core is strong. Last 10 seconds, go. Ha, ha. Rounding through that finish line. Remember the goal's 100. We're chipping away at that beautiful number. Five, four, three, two. All right, hand down. What'd you get? 35. 35 again, so she adds 35 and 33. Right hand down, modified side plank, row the left weight up. Inhale, lower. Modified side plank, row the left weight up. Remember, you hope and the intention. Good. Is that too heavy? Do you want to go lighter? Okay. Turley's got some big heavy weights over there. She's dealing with 15s and 20s. The reason I asked her is it too heavy because sometimes with the shoulder, it's a small joint. You don't want to overdo the shoulder joint, right? Building that dynamic flexibility. As long as you feel like you're in control, you can always go heavier. Like I gave you that option on the other side. I went from my three pound water bottle to now my eight pound water jug. <sighs> Cheapest weights in the market right now. Eight pounds for $1.50. <laughs> Keep going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, step your right leg through. Hands over your head, side stretch to the right as much as you can. Awesome. Now that's just a stretch to get you set up. Grab a hold of your weight. Side bend right, center, come up. Side bend right, center, come up. You're on your own here. Hit it, hit it. Side bend, center, come on up. One minute. So you're thinking to yourself, how far can the weight dip to the right? And at the same time, how can I stabilize? You can, of course, always drop to the back knee if you want to work the side bend from your knee. But just like Sarah, it's a pretty intense variation, right? <sighs> to hover your knee and hold it. Stay low, bend, look at your top left elbow as you bend. So February for me is the month of following through. What that means is if we set some goals in January, February is about following through on them, right? Everyone, five, four, three, two. Okay, come back down to your modified side plank. One last time on this side. Option one, you're back to this side row. Option two, full side plank row. Both of your feet stagger. Row up and lower down. Left hand down, right palm does the work. It doesn't take much weight to feel this. You don't need a lot. <laughs> How's that feel, Turn. <laughs> Do you want the fibers? You're okay? All right, keep going. I believe in you. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, good eight pound water jump. Great. Holding steady, breathe. 20 seconds. You can feel the shoulders starting to react. But because we said we're going to do this for a minute, that follow-through is what matters. Even if you take a break and come back in, you go through that final finish line. Three, two, one. Step the left foot through again. Side bends. Now listen carefully. I'm going to rack a bottom heavy weight, top light weight. Looks like this. Lunge, side bend, center, come back up. So the heavy weight's in my left hand. The right hand has the light weight. Bend my back right knee towards the ground. Reach to the left. Come back through center. Come up. Lunge. Left legs forward. Reach. Pull. Come back up. Shoulder sensitivity. You're back at that initial action, which you're just here. Side bend. Center. Come up. You're on your own for the next 30 seconds. Let's check some form. Good. Notice how she's her weight in her front left heel as best she can. So you keep the weight in your front left heel and the back toes. Then, as you drive over to the side, that top weight is adding a lot of tension on your shoulder and core. 15 seconds. Woo! Feeling your apex shred, those side abs. Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all right, team, we're gonna add on. Hold one heavy weight, wood chop, straight arm up through star pose, then you turn to the back of the room. 
pivot lunge, straight arm swing. Pivot to the front of your mat, straight arm up to the back of your mat. One minute. Alternating, straight arm wood chops. Squeeze your abs, good. Inhale, drive and lift. The rotation is the core work. Awesome. Now there'll only be two sets of this today. So ask yourself, does this weight feel good? 30 down, 30 to go. You could always drop set. You could also do this without weights to build spinal mobility. Almost like a yoga prayer twist. Ah. Squeeze your butt at the top, pull your abs down. Awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Meet me in plank. Number three of four minutes, forearm plank hip dips. When you're ready, hip dip. You're counting up. Turnley was at about 65-ish. She's counting up, right? Whatever it is, you're going up, up, up that ladder. <sighs> Aiming each time. Let's say you haven't started counting. That's fine. I want you to try to get 25 in each round. But remember, the count sounds like one, one. Two, two, three, three. Rolling on your feet. Keep that epic rounding. Yeah, good job, Steven. Let's go, David. Push it, push it. Side to side as you roll your halfway. Whatever number you have, I want you to double it. Rolling right, rolling left. You got it, turn me. I know it's hard. Hit it. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. All right, right palm down. Option to stay in that modification or we head to full side plank. Let's do it. Full side plank, right arm down, left arm rose. Inhale, lower. Exhale, drive up. It's one minute to build stability in your back and shoulders. And then by pushing your bottom right hip up, you're getting all of that side ab work, the low side intrinsic core, like those global stabilizers, those awesome oblique muscles. Awesome, halfway. We're getting off your hands after this, so give everything you can to that shoulder strength and that fatigue. Inhale, lower, exhale, drive, keep going. <laughs> 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three. All right, right leg through. Regroup, heavy weight now in the right hand. Left weight overhead. Bend, push towards the right. Come back up and squeeze your butt. Lunge, side bend to the right. Come back up and squeeze your glutes. All right, you're on your own. Lunge, bending right. The light weight is in your left hand. The heavy guy's in your right. Not into the shoulder work, no problem. Bend and lean. Woo! Getting low in your legs. It's your choice, you got 30 seconds. The hope is that it's very unsteady and you have to go slow. Following through on the action, stay low. Bend slightly. Oh my God, those are so heavy. <laughs> Bend and lean. Everybody, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. All right, last set as heavy as you can go. Right leg, star squeeze, wood chop, star squeeze. Last set, last set. <sighs> Inhale, drive up, squeeze. Inhale, drive up, squeeze. You got one minute. Now it's not about how fast you go through this, especially if you've got the heavy weights. The idea is you're pivoting on your toes, becoming like a rock star as you squeeze your butt at the top, right? Squeeze and lift, hell yeah. Rotate, squeeze, lift. Beautiful, keep going. So the hope now in the final 20 seconds is you bend low in your lunge, knees track the same direction as your toes, drive and squeeze, kind of like you're a cheerleader, and then slowly bring it down. Woo, keep it up, 10 seconds. You guys know what's coming. We got our forearm plank finisher. Getting to 100 in three, 
two. All right, let's hit it, forearm plank. Wherever you were in the beginning of class, we're going side or forearm plank hip dips to finish to get you to 100. Now, if you get to 100, what are you at, Charlie? You're probably close. 95. She's going to keep going because she's an extra credit badass. <laughs> For those of us that aren't at 100 yet, we're going to get to that 100 even if, let's say you're watching this, you could pause the tape, you could pause the screen, and keep going. You could go after we're done this 20-minute burst. I want you to get 100. Why? Because you're going to follow through on the things that you said you were going to do. Why does that matter? Because when you set a goal and you don't keep it, it's self-sabotage. You get down on yourself. You lose confidence. But when, in these last 20 seconds, you hit that goal in four minutes to get 100 sides, hip dips up and down. Come on, Turnley. 10 seconds. You start to believe in yourself. That's what following through feels like. Three, two, and on your butt. Ah, what did you end up at? 115. Wow, awesome. All right, team. Light to medium set of weights. Inhale, lat pullover. Exhale, push to the left. Lat pullover. Exhale, push to the right. Lat pullover. Push to the left. Here you are on your own. Side to side for one minute. Everything we do in this block or in this burst is one minute only. And we're in the final five minute chunk. Breathe in. Push and lift. As you do this, dig your heels down, tiny crunch up to the side. So we're trying to work rib definition. As you crunch up, think about the upper diaphragm muscles, push and reach to one side. Awesome. Inhale over your head, exhale, push and reach. Hell yes, let's go. Up and reach, push and reach, hit it. To feel that power center get stronger. Standing confidently in your core means that you know you worked as hard as you could, even when you hear that final five countdown. Last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lap pull over just like we were. Butterfly your legs. Exhale, knees to high lashes, crunch and hug your legs. Butterfly open your legs, knees to eye lashes, crunch and hold. Now the straighter your arms are, the more you're going to engage the lats and the low abs. I want your arms to stay straight as you take them over your head. Big full body open, big full body crunch. You expand. Let's go Jenna, squeeze it. Jenna, if at any point you want to not take crunches on your back, let's say you're building something in your belly, you can always do leg work. Back kicks, tabletop. You can always do side work, like froggers, like this. If at any point your belly has too big of a baby in it, or whatever it has, let's say it's got a burrito baby in it, <laughs> chips and guac, I had a chips and guac baby in it last night. Whatever it is, you can always take side kicks, back kicks, front kicks, whatever you need. Three, two, right leg through. Last set. Come all the way up, guys. Side bends, last set. Third set, best set. Last set on the side. All right, team. Lunge, reach, pull, and stand back up. These are too good not to come back to time and time again. I do at least a couple sets of side bends and lunges like this. Twice a week, I'll do put it into my routines. It's important because it's dynamic lateral strength. Charlie, are you sure you don't want to throw a tequila bottle? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. Yeah, it's hard to stabilize. Okay, good. The reason Charlie's saying her shoulders are fine is because she has a great job of aligning them, right? So the idea is that when you're up there, you reach from your side, but that arm stays aligned. That's important no matter how heavy you're holding. All right, Carrie and Steve, 30 seconds. Let's do it. We're in the finale stretch of this baby. We have one more side of side bends on the other leg on the other side, finishing with crunches, and we done. That's about two and a half minutes or less of work. Let's see everything you got here. Leave it on the table knowing that you, like you promised, gave everything to this workout. Three, two, all right team, other side. Left leg forward, now the light weight is in your right hand. Lean and bend, 
come back up. Lean and bend, come back up. Lean and bend. You've got that beautiful depth. As your back knee drops, you send your palm over your head. It's about mindful awareness, just like Sarah said before. It doesn't matter how fast you go, as long as you're not wobbly at the bottom, you steady, and then you lean, you've got it. Hold steady and lean. Yeah! 40 seconds, let's go Sydney, let's see it guys, push it! <sighs> Feeling that offering, your body and your mind are like, I wanna stop, no one's really watching, right? Uh-uh, guess who's watching? Your fucking best friend, yourself. And when you say you're gonna do something, you better fucking finish it. We got five, four, that's how we build confidence. Three, two, one, on your back, let's put it together. Final minute looks like this. Lat pullover, side crunch, pullover, side crunch, pullover, close your legs, knees to eyelashes. All right, let's do it. Lat pullover, side crunch, Lat pull over, push your back down. Side crunch, lat pull over. Lift your knees to your eyelashes and hug them. All right, get going. This is the final minute. You're at mile 26 in this amazing marathon. I need you to get that point two left, just point two. It's all about the follow through. February is how we finish what we promised. Reach and pull. We're now in the third week of the month. That's so crazy. This month is pretty short. <laughs> We're here. And in that expression of the third week, are we following through as we enter the seventh week of the year? Oh my God, are we doing what we thought? Are we doing what we hoped? Are we doing what we wanted? Everyone, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Give me one more full set in, guys. How many more can you get in? <sighs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> All right, roll up to a seat with me. Let's finish with quick affirmations. It's important. Now that you just feel all of this adrenaline endorphins pumping through your core, bringing your hands to your heart, repeat out loud after me. Hey, today, I'm ready for the best week of my life. I will follow through. I'll finish, I'll finish what I said, and I trust myself. Everyone take a deep breath in. Namaste, namaste. Yay, all right team. Let's move into our 